Brings him down. Move this back leg up. And then kick up the head here. Lockdowns lifting and MMA champion Danny Kaur's gym is open again. Kids from all backgrounds brought together to practice mixed martial arts. Classes are free. The priority to Danny is to keep these youngsters off the streets, burn off energy together. Much better than throwing petrol bombs at the police. A lot of it was kids going out there for excitement, you know. Of course there's all those reasons behind it. They've been in newspapers and radio shows and television shows, you know, but the, the young kids that are out there are out there to get an adrenaline buzz. And it's as simple as that. They haven't got a political agenda. They don't actually hate the, the person that they've went to school with or they've met before. Um, they're just getting some kind of buzz out of it. Um, once this is back up and running, these things are, are fully fledged and there's more of these and people put funding into these things, um, then, you know. Northern Ireland's next generation will be crucial. Integrated schools are relatively new and growing slowly. About 7% of the kids here now study at mixed schools, races and religions together. It's a quiet space we have for our students. Um, so if I can show you. Lagan College was the first. Because we have people from all backgrounds, we have Protestant Catholics coming here together, they're able to challenge each other and to discuss each other. So we are, as much as possible, a bias-free zone. One would think that integrated education would be the product purely of government and policy. Well, far from it. All of Northern Ireland's 65 integrated schools are the result of parental demand. Not one student has been put in place by a politician. Paul Collins fundraises for the Umbrella programme. The other thing to remember as well is when the school becomes integrated, it's not just the children, it's the parents who are brought into this equation. Well, they're at the school gates waiting and talking to people and their common interest now is the children. And also, interestingly, the grandparents as well are, are being brought into that process as well. So it, it is, it's not the only factor, but it's one of many factors that can, can help to move things forward. With all the blackout and his daughters, yeah. Lily and Freya, are loyal students at Lagan. It's nice just to like have a different variety of friends and not everyone just being the same, you know, talking to different people and learning new things. Is, I think that's really important. I think it's a key. I genuinely think if the future, if the future of Northern Ireland is to progress and become anything, like become better, like it needs to become better, integrated schools are the way, like 100%. For every teenager at the barricades, there's another being helped to build a better future. And whether it's parental pressure on an education system or a local gym giving youngsters a place to go, there are plenty of adults in Northern Ireland playing their part to help write a different story for the next generation.